Hi everybody, I'm JT. Welcome to another video from me here at Campervan Journey. Today I'm broadcasting from my California studio, not out and about enjoying the countryside. But so if you're new to the channel, thanks very much for tuning in today. I hope that you find this video useful. And remember, if you do hit the button to subscribe down the bottom there. If you're an existing subscriber or you've seen one of my more recent videos, you'll be aware that uh, we have been considering options to uh, upgrade, change our Volkswagen California. So naturally, we've looked at the options with Volkswagen as a replacement for the California in different specifications. And as part of our research, um, news came to light uh, uh, in the last day or two about an impending price rise, which Volkswagen have got coming in across all of their range, which is going to impact potentially on our decision. So stay tuned and I'll try and explain it as best as I can and how it will impact us and potentially you if you're considering changing. So for those of you who saw our earlier video, uh, we are considering changing our California for something else. So we've got a California beach at the moment. Our needs have changed over the last um, few years since we bought this van. And we're now thinking about either getting something a little bit bigger um, or something with an integrated uh, kitchen. So, um, But the other thing we did explore, but I think it's too much money and it's definitely going to be too much now money now is the Grand California um, but what's come to light over the last uh, few days is that as with so many things prices have gone up so Volkswagen have announced a price increase that is going to have, uh, come into effect from the 1st of December I work in the motor industry and there's a key thing with this is that one thing that Volkswagen used to do they're not going to do going forwards and it does have an impact so if you've got a van on order um, it's worth checking with your dealer to find out whether you're going to be affected hopefully they've been in contact with you already if you're thinking about buying something you need to re have a look at your maths because the prices unfortunately are going to go up so if you've been living in a hole in a cave not watched any news you probably won't be aware of this but if you haven't you cannot miss the fact that prices on everything is going up and it's not just to do with COVID, it's due to do with supply chain issues, which are impacts are caused by many, many different things. But fundamentally, Volkswagen have made a decision that due to increased cost of raw materials, increased energy costs, which is an interesting one, which I haven't seen before, um, and your just general supply shortages, they have had to put the prices up across all of their brands. So that's everything not just the vans but the passenger cars you know Audis, Seat, um, Skoda everything has gone up I wonder if um, Bugattis have gone up in price or Lamborghinis maybe you have to do some research on that but basically everything has gone up in the region of two to three percent so that's a two to three percent rise on the basic price of the vehicle and in most cases a rise on options as well OK, so when you're talking about a car, an expensive car, expensive vehicle, then this all mounts up and it will make a difference. Now, the key thing is, is that in the old days, if you had a vehicle on order, uh, manufacturers, Volkswagen especially, and they were very honourable with this, would traditionally price protect that order. What that meant was that you place an order, you waited for it to come, and if the prices changed between when you ordered and the vehicle being delivered, you were protected from that increase. It doesn't look like they're going to do that this time. And they have said in their communications that they're not going to be able to do this if it falls out of certain time frames. Um, but as I said, in 20 plus years of, of working in the motor industry, I've never seen this. And I think it's a real game changer, rightly or wrongly. I, I understand why they're doing it, but it does really if you if you've committed to a vehicle you want to know the price and if you don't know the price i'm not so sure that whether it's the right thing for them to be doing i think if there is a difference 
perhaps they should be absorbing that themselves. But such is the pressure on the marketplace at the moment. They've had to make their economic decision. So what does that really mean? So if you are looking at the Volkswagen California pricing, as of the 1st of December, the prices for the vehicle itself are going to go up by 3%. Now, I just did some maths working back from that. If you looked at, say, the average price of a new California being £70,000, the 3% increase would be on the on the basic price. So take off the VAT, which in the UK is 20%, work out 3% of that, add the VAT back on. You're looking about an increase of around about £2,000 on the price of that vehicle. So um, that's quite a big chunk. And if you look at a traditional finance plan, we always had a rule that you know for each £1,000 that you borrow, it's going to make around about twenty to £25 a month difference to your finance payments. So very simply, if the, well, the van's gone up by £2,000, then potentially your finance payments will have gone up by around about £50 to £60. So yeah, I know that if you're spending £70,000 on a vehicle, then maybe £50 a month on a finance plan is not a big deal, but it's still a significant jump. And what is most important, as I said, is this move away from price protection. So what does that mean? If you've ordered a vehicle before the 9th of November and it arrives before the 30th of June 2022, then you will be price protected. If you're watching this video now, the chances are you may not have ordered. Um, if you have ordered, brilliant. I'm looking forward to the van coming through. Um, and then hopefully you'll be OK with delivery times. If I was to walk into a Volkswagen commercial showroom today and looked to order a van they'd be telling me that I would expect delivery probably July to August time next year so already I'm outside of that window okay so I've missed ordering before the 9th of November and I'm not going to see my new van before the end of June next year if it arrives after the 1st of July um, then Volkswagen will be increasing the price of the vehicle so whilst you might have ordered the price at a point today, if the vehicle tips up after the 1st of July, then you will be paying a higher price. Now, I don't know how they're going to work this, whether they're going to communicate with you at some point along the line, um, but be prepared to pay an increased price for your new California, your new camper van. Option prices have gone up as well. They haven't necessarily gone up by the same amount, but in the region of sort of 2 to 3%. Um, and if you're interested in looking at a Volkswagen Grand California, then the price of those has gone up by 3.8% or nearly 4%. And again, with a more expensive vehicle, I'd imagine that you're looking at potentially another five-ish thousand pounds if you spec'd up a Grand California. And as I said, when we've been looking at options for us, that's just way too much money. It's beyond our budgets. So we won't be affected by that. Grand California lead time isn't as bad. And I do wonder whether that's to do with the price to do with a funny configuration and to do with the fact that you know they're not selling as many so you know, potentially you you might escape the the the, the window for those cutters for pricing if they can get one more quickly for you but so not great news if you've got something on order definitely not great news if you're considering on ordering something and from our point of view going back to what we might do about replacing this um, it will have an impact on 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 what we consider and I certainly know that with the other brands we're looking at, they're almost certainly faced with the same challenges um, with pricing going up generally. But I think the smart cookies here are going to be the ones who, you, who, who will honour their pricing, honour their customer orders, not look to put them up and have secured production capacity and negotiated production with suppliers um, that they can hold those prices for longer. Now, Volkswagen are a massive organisation. They sell millions of cars each year internationally so millions maybe hundreds of thousands of cars internationally but it's you have to just say that uh, I, I get where they're coming from from a business point of view but is it the right thing to do for the consumer I'm not so sure I think if you've signed an order signed a contract that should be the price that you pay but there it is I suppose sign of the times so not a great news story, but definitely a story that is going to impact our decision 
I'm still going to consider replacement California, but yeah, if what we were going to look at has gone up by two to three thousand pounds, again that puts it into different can look at closes the gap with some of the other options that we were looking at. But uh, so thanks very much indeed for watching. Remember to hit the button to like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you on my next video here on Campervan Journey very soon. <laughs>